You're all looking a bit sad. I wonder what I should do. Hey, Mom! Have you seen Saltius anywhere? Huh? I can't seem to find her! <gasps> Saltius? She's been helping me in the garden. Saturday! <laughs> what? But well, why? Mom, since when did you start becoming friends with Saltius? Hmm. Since we met, I guess? For a salt Elemon, she's very sweet. She and I have been good buddies from day one, right? Hello! Hey! I'm supposed to be your friend, Saltius, so start hanging out with me already! Sora. Easy, Ella. You can't force someone to be your friend. Uh, huh? The flowers look kind of sick, huh? What's wrong with them? Wish I could tell you, though it has been cloudy the past few days. Plants don't do well without regular sunlight. I can tell. It's hard to know what plants want since they can't talk. Aw, oh, come on, Saltius. Should I? Let's go! Are you having so much fun that your ears don't work? You can at least listen while I'm upset! Go faster! Would you stop running? You don't have to yell! What was that for, anyway? I didn't yell. And it's nothing. You just shouldn't run in the lab, you know? But it's my lab. Huh? Why am I in the lab? Oh, oh, yeah, that's right! You just reminded me why I came down here! I was in the process of making a new Elamon! Oh, great! So what are you gonna make this time? An Elamon that can emit carbon dioxide! Come, mm. can you play that video? Playing video! Oh, it's Ryan! Here's my favorite drink ever. I'll show you how to make a fizzy fruit punch bowl. With your fruit in the bowl, put in a bottle of sodium carbonate. Then you put in some mint candy, and you... Watch the waterworks! It's done! And now you have a fountain of fizzy fruit punch. It's fun and delicious. What do you think? That's the coolest thing ever! You have to help me make it! It looks so delicious and fizzy! That's what I thought. And to help with that, I thought I'd make an Elamon that emits carbon dioxide, so we can have an endless supply of sodium bicarbonate. Hey, come! Time to make some Elamon. You know what to do. Elemental Blender, powering on. <laughs> Elemental Orbs, go! This has begun. Since it's emitting gas, it has to be constantly pumping it out or it would get all clogged up over time. <laughs> oh no, what did you do? Carbon dioxide is one of the leading causes of global warming for the Earth, isn't it? We just learned about that in class the other day! Mm. His abilities call.
called Soda Splash. So yeah, looks like we'll have an endless supply of CO2. All I wanted was some fizzy fruit punch. I didn't know the world ending CO2 was the same carbon dioxide you find in soda. He doesn't emit that much carbon dioxide. Fizzler, if you would. Please add carbon dioxide to this water. Use Soda Splash. Please. Now it's carbonated water. Then we add the mint candy and step back. Ah! <laughs> Leo, you have to turn this thing off right now. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. With all this carbon dioxide, the planet's gonna over you in no time. There was so much I wanted to do with my life, and now I may not have the chance if you don't stop it. I really don't think you need to be panicking that much. The amount of carbon dioxide that Fizzler puts off is less than the amount we breathe on a daily basis. <laughs> it's just part of our biology. We breathe oxygen in and always breathe out carbon dioxide. You can't avoid it because breathing is the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. <laughs> well, thank you, Captain Obvious. I understand how breathing works. Oh no, I think the planet's starting to heat up already. Uh, the temperature hasn't changed at all. <laughs> Whatever, smarty pants. If you want to keep lying to yourself, then that's fine by me. But that element's gotta go! If no one else will save the Earth, then I will! Stop right there! I won't let you hit the planet! Oh, no! Stop! You're ruining my life! Would you just stop and let me destroy you? I said stop! That's it! I'm gonna get you for sure! made a new Elamon. Mom, can you believe it? Mm -hmm. What happened over here? It's all thanks to Fizzler's carbon dioxide. Just look at them. He used soda splash on the flowers and they perked up right away. Please. It's okay. Give him another soda splash. Please. Please. Are you sure that's all right? His ability actually helps the flowers. The bubbles are filled with carbon dioxide, which helps them grow. Wow! <laughs> carbon dioxide. Of course. Wait, how is this supposed to be helping the flowers? Photosynthesis, that's how. Photo what? Synthesis. Plants use sunlight to eat. The energy from sunlight helps them make nutrients from water and carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis makes oxygen, which is used by other creatures like us. That's photosynthesis. Wait then, Fizzler isn't hurting the environment? No, he wasn't. Carbon dioxide's part of the environment, so he was helping. Thanks for the help, Fizzler. Please. <laughs> you know, I just had an idea. Could you help me out? Please. You did a great job with my garden, but this city is filled with lots of plants, and I think you're just what they need. Would you like to go around the city and help out those plants, too?
Shoot here! Fizzler, if you would, soda splash, please. Please. Oh. Looks like he's up to something weird again. Oh, is Ryan here too? Hi there. I'm trying out an experiment with a carbon dioxide rocket. Are you ready to go, Ryan? Yep, I'm all clear. Okay then, now for liftoff. <laughs> yeah. Just look at him go. Ryan's rocket went up super high. And Leo's <whistles> is sad. Sort of. It's difficult to get the measurements right. Sure it is. You should just do what I do. Not a chance. What's the point if both our rockets are the same? In a competition, the best one is supposed to win. A competition? Equalize is sponsoring a tournament for people to bring in handmade rockets. But this one isn't going to cut it. Oh, that's right. Hey, calm. Mm -hmm. Time to make an Elamon. You know what to do. Elemental Lords, go! Synthesis has begun. On? What kind of Elamon is this? An awesome one. Why don't we go show her outside? All right, so, Rock Skull was made with nitric acid. What's that do? It's multifunctional with explosive properties. <laughs> and for Rock Skull, it means his body can create rocket fuel. Using it allows him to fly. Ah, do you think he could travel to space? Yeah. I doubt it. Space is really far away. That isn't going to space what rockets are for. What's wrong, Rock Skull? He's doing it! Or not. You okay? What happened? It looked like you weren't able to get as far as you wanted. Well, that explains it. What's it say? Even though Rock Skull can create fuel, his body isn't that big, so he can't make much of it at once. Just like how a car with a small gas tank couldn't drive far. Oh, I get it. If that's the case, then shouldn't you use the other rocket? If Rock Skull wants to try again at the tournament, then so do I. Do you? That's the spirit, Rock Skull. We can do this. You. Oh, wow. Looks like a lot of people came today. You guys are supposed to be hiding. Hi there. Nice to see you two again. 
Good to see you, Xion. I see you're competing. Thank you for participating. Daddy, is it about to start? Correct. It's almost time. Vice President Jones will greet everyone and we'll get going. Have fun out there. See you. Okay, Leo, let's go get ready. Right. Can we use an Alamon for this? I bet they're going to figure out your rocket's alive since it moves and has eyes. It'll be fine. Can you? Go. You have to sit still if you want to compete. Now you look like an actual rocket. <laughs> I'm Vice President Jones, and I'm grateful to you all for joining in today's festivities. This afternoon, we're encouraging some friendly competition to learn about space and ecology through handmade rockets. <laughs> I'm Xion, the Director of Public Relations at Ecolize. Daddy! Ecolize is proud to unveil its new green energy plant. This plant can produce a high energy biofuel, fuel that's powerful enough to send rockets into space. What are you doing, Rock Skull? You're supposed to be keeping a low profile, remember? I think he heard the word space and got too excited to sit still. Oh. It happened at your house, too. Do you think he could travel to space? <coughs> that isn't going to space what rockets are for. <coughs> Was that because of what she said? I guess you are an Elamon with a skill called Rocket On. You want to go to space. <coughs> I get it. But listen, okay? <coughs> I know it's frustrating not to get to where you want to go, but with your current power, it's probably not going to be possible to make it into space for a while. But that's okay. It took humans a thousand years to figure out how to make a rocket that could make it all the way up to space. What I mean is that you're still figuring out your powers, and it's okay. Don't worry and do your best. So we meet again. Oh, it's you. You're the girl from the park. Are you also going to be entering the tournament? I'm just spectating. My father is the vice president of Ecolize. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, and my name's Leo, by the way. My name is Alyssa. Shall we be friends? Oh, yes, please. It's almost go time. Is everyone ready? Three, two. One, lift off! Don't worry, you've got this! Keep it up! Oh yeah, time for the moment of truth. You can do it! Go to space! Lift off! What is he doing? What's going on? I thought he couldn't fly that high before. I knew his tank didn't have enough fuel, so he transformed to make it last longer. I didn't know Elamon could do that. By turning his tentacles into nozzles, he can focus the jet fuel to improve its efficiency and go higher. From here, he looks just like a real rocket. I guess Rock Skull was serious about going into space. He did it. I wonder if all Elamon have that kind of hidden power. Rock Skull. Hmm. Shouldn't you be happy about coming in first? I won, but Rock School hasn't come back. Huh? I can't believe it! Did you make it to space? So you didn't? I'm sorry you couldn't get up there. Though, I'm really happy to see you. Of course I am. I know that it's your dream, so don't worry if it's not possible yet. I'll do all I can to make it happen. Can 
I'm exhausted. I can't keep filling in for her. Daddy? How much longer do you have to keep being the president's substitute? Alyssa, you and I both know I'm not going to be under Amanda forever. But that's not really a time frame, is it? Hard to say how long it'll take. What if I said I found a way for you to become president faster? Hmm? I'd say I'm curious. This is? It's a neoplasm the president's son created. I've gathered it's an Elamon. If you uncover the secret to Elamon, you could sell it to turn a huge profit for the company. Then becoming the president wouldn't have to be a pipe dream. And how do we uncover this secret? I have a team of spies that would be up for the task. So why don't you leave this to me? <laughs> to Team Ninja! This looks like... Exactly the kind of team I need. Oh, this is gonna be great! Just think, Calm. As soon as I get this camera set up, I'll be able to live stream my first ever viral science video, just like my friend Ryan. Say. Leo, I was thinking perhaps I could have a segment in which I discuss the periodic table. Uh, we'll see. This is kind of supposed to be my channel, you know? Excellent. I'll start brainstorming segment names. Calm time. Communicating with calm. Come on and feel the noise. Akura? Sorry, Akuro. I can't let you be on camera either. I don't want to reveal my Elamon secrets to the whole internet. But don't worry, people watching will still learn all about the elements that make you. That's something, right? Okay, camera's ready. Five, four, three, two... Wait, how's my hair? Um, you don't have hair. Oh, right. Action! And we're live! Welcome to my first ever live stream, viewers. You're about to witness the coolest science lesson ever put on the internet. Status report. You have two viewers. Never tell me the stats, Calm. Now, let's get started. Welcome to... Intro to Basic Chemistry. Starring me, Leo Woods. We should have workshopped that name a bit more. Today, I want to introduce you all to the wonderful world of elements. Uh... -huh. uh <clears throat> For no other reason than, uh, chemistry is awesome. Definitely not because I have a big secret that involves transforming elements into powerful monsters. Nah, no way. Smooth. To begin with, everything in the universe is made up of little particles called atoms. Those atoms are able to come together and form what are called elements. I heard elements. Does that mean it's time for my segment? No, Calm. Aww. Uh, apologies for that disruption, viewers. Make that viewer singular. One must have logged off. Not listening. Now, where was I? Um, every atom has a core called a nucleus that is surrounded by swirling little bits called electrons. Inside the nucleus are protons, which have a positive charge that counter the electron's negative charge. Uh, drop a comment if this is all making sense. Status report, zero comments. Okay, well, um, anyway. Atoms that come together to make an element all have the same number of protons in their nuclei. That number is called the element's atomic number. And that atomic number appears on the periodic table of elements, which I'll be going over now. Won't I, Leo? Um... Oh, come on. That would have been the perfect segue. <clears throat> Elements are pure substances that cannot be broken down into simpler substances by chemical reactions. Now, what the? Ella, what are you doing? This is my super viral video, not my little sister's. Leo, I know chemistry is awesome, but if you really want to make a viral video, you're going to need to include some popular dance trends. This is not Ella's dancing video. This is Leo's science video, period. Period? As in periodic table of elements? Ooh, can I go now? Leo, please? I know that wasn't the cleanest segue, but you're not giving me much to go on here. Okay, okay, fine, do your segment. Yay. Welcome all you science heads to Calm's Chemistry Corner. 
Today I'm going to be counting down my top three favorite elements on the periodic table. Coming in at number three, iron. Chemical symbol, Fe. Classification, transition metal. Atomic number, 26. And remind us, Leo, what does the atomic number signify? Number of protons in the nuclei of those atoms. Come on, smile. You'll never reach a million followers with that negative attitude. You are correct, Leo. And Ella, you are correct, too. Leo, you could stand to smile more. Iron is, by mass, the most common element on Earth. It can be found in the Earth's crust, in water, and even in your human body. About three to four grams of iron are flowing through your bodies right now. Neat, right? Haku! Uh, gazoontite. Now it's time to move on to my second favorite element, gold. Chemical symbol, AU. Classification, transition metal. Atomic number, 79. Gold has long been considered valuable because of its lustrous color. It's near indestructibility and the fact that it appears in nature in mostly pure form. Meaning you can pull it out of a riverbed, as is, and basically strike it rich, then end there. Or you can win a gold medal for your awesome, totally on-trend dance moves! That's correct, Ella. You, uh, go, girl. Thanks, Com. At least somebody is supportive around here. Now the time has finally come to reveal my number one favorite element. And now, it's time for Com's number one favorite element! My number one favorite element is a tie! That's right, I just couldn't choose a favorite between hydrogen and oxygen. They're both incredibly vital elements. Hydrogen, or H on the periodic table, is the most abundant substance in the universe. Oxygen, or O, is necessary for human beings to survive! How could I pick? I don't know, Cone, that kind of feels like a cop-out. Yeah, that's like me saying my favorite food is strawberries and yogurt, which actually, now that I think of it, sounds pretty good. Exactly, Ella. Because as incredible as these two elements are on their own, they're even better when you combine them. By adding two hydrogen atoms to one oxygen atom, you get the chemical compound H2O, or water, a colorless, flavorless substance that is necessary for life on Earth. Okay, that's kind of a good point. I told you, I'm the king of segways. All right, I think that wraps up chemistry content with Calm. It's Calm's Chemistry Corner. All right. Uh, out of curiosity, what's our view count at? Hmm, it appears our view count spiked at the three minute mark. That's interesting. According to my calculations, that appears to be the exact moment that all, all three of us were on camera together. together. I knew it! The internet loves dancing! Wait, we're receiving some comments. Hmm, according to the viewers, they specifically love the combination of dancing and science. Of course, I should have known. Just like how a chemical compound combines elements to create something new, our channel combined dancing and science to create something totally unique. Yes. yes. I'm sorry for trying to hog the video all to myself, guys. I should have known. Just like in chemistry, sometimes combining different elements produces the coolest effects. That's okay, Leo. Why don't we try this whole thing again? Sounds great. Take it away, you two. Meanwhile, me and my co-producer will man the camera. hook Now you'll see Ella here is expelling carbon dioxide as she dances, or CO2. CO2 is a chemical compound made of two oxygen atoms and a single carbon atom. The CO2 in our air...